Hey, well, this is Zachary Triple O Seven. Hey, world, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and today I'm going to show you a cool video on how to view your processes in more detail. Now, if you don't know what process is, you can right-click your taskbar, hit Start Ta Task Manager, and then go to the Processes tab. This is all your processes currently running on your computer. As you see, processes are things that are basically running in your background or just running where you can see them. For example, I have Rocket Duck. If you guys don't know what Rocket Duck is, Rocket Duck is my, is my, is my Mac Duck. Now on Windows, you can't do much. You can go to the Properties, which is just the application. You can set the priority, you can end it, you can open the file location, which just opens up Windows Explorer. That's about it. I'm going to show you a program that lets you understand a lot more about each process. So I'm going to direct you to this website. This website will have a link in the description. This is another pro cool program on Nearsoft. I do a lot of um, tutorials on their videos, or sorry, on their programs, and they're really great programs. They're all free, and you know they just help you with your help. They're just most of them are small programs that just help you on your. Basically, if you're watching this video, you can use it. It starts from Windows 2000 and works up all the way up to Windows 7, which is Windows 7. This is Windows 7. And then, so basically, if you can watch this video on a computer, on a Windows computer, basically you can use this program. It works for 64-bit uh, 64, 64 uh, um, computers and 32-bit computers. Now, you might also have to run as administrator if you are the if you are not the administrator um, on a Windows XP, or Windows 2008, Vista, or 7. So here you can translate. If you're if you understand me, you shouldn't really have to worry about that. So this is where you can download it. Um, now if you're a 32 bit computer, click this link. If you're a 64 bit computer like me, you click this link. So I'm just gonna save it to my download section. Very very small file. It's already done downloading. Now I'm just gonna go work my way to the download section of my computer. And here we go. We have um, the zip file. I just see custom icon to myself. All you need to do is you're gonna hit extract here. And it should create this. Now with every single Nearsoft program, it comes with the program, um, a compiled HTML help file, and a readme text. The readme text basically just gives a description, requirements, and that. The compiled HTML help file is the actual website basically on a port it's the portable website now this if you can you'd like to, you, you want to use this more because this is basically the same thing as the readme file except it has pictures and it's just more user friendly I guess you could say and you can open the links so you know now I want to show you the program um, if you're not sure if you're an administrator or whatever I suggest just clicking right clicking it and running run as administrator I don't have to but I suggest doing it anyway. So what you're going to do is you open up the program and it's going to say choose process. You're going to pick one. I'm going to pick a, a common one, Rocket Duck, which again is a, is a MacBook. So once you click it once, hit OK, and it will display this. Now if you go to the options center here, you can, I'm, I'm going to show everything so you can see the whole Okay, so this is Rocket Docs process. So as you see, it has 52 visible windows. Now that isn't technically right because you only see one, but according to Windows, there's 52 of them. Now as you can see, this one is hidden. It gives you a 100% accurate description of, so I'm not going to even try. Basically what it is, is it's the program basically. It's all the binary files. As you can see, it's too many zeros to count. If you really want to learn this, I suggest going on Google because Google is your friend. Here you can, uh, so up in the corner here you can resume a, so you can choose a process, so basically you can choose a different one. You can end one, so you can select select one of these threads and end it. 
and then you can resume it after. So as you see here, this is the create time, the user time, and if you go over here, the start address, TB address, the Windows class, that. Now I want to choose one more, one more process. So I'm going to go to Windows Explorer. If you don't know what Windows Explorer is, basically it's the taskbar, start menu, and of course, Windows Explorer. So when I click Explorer, I see Explorer is a, is a very large program. It's basically your computer. It's basically Windows. And as you see, it has a lot more processes. Now when I open up a thing, as you see, a lot of them start turning green. And I close it, they'll change back. But as you see, a lot of them turn green. And now that I closed it, more of them turn white again, which means that they're not in use. So as you see here, uh, usually there's waiting for a user request, the delay execution, which means something else will turn it on. And there you go. It's basically the same thing as the other one. It shows now this one has a lot more zeros than the other one because it is a more sophisticated program. So I'm just gonna click on something else quickly. And there we go, it loads and again too many zeros to count. That's about it for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Wallpapers of the Week series starting May this Sunday, where every every week I will do like a slideshow almost. Not not even me talking, just a slideshow of pictures that I, that I found, and it'll be a theme. So maybe one week I'll do like a nature theme. Next th next week I'll do a abstract, dark, mystical week and I'll have maybe like 10 pictures each week and then I'll provide the download links for these pictures. If you guys if you guys like the idea, please post a comment below and subscribe too so that way if I do start this up, you will get notified that I upload these wallpapers of the week. I have a friend who said it was a good idea and I think I want to do it. So that's what if this video though. So if you guys like the video, subscribe, favorite, whatever you got to do. And don't forget to subscribe. This is the Hack Trouble 7, and I'm signing off.